Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, we're all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hey guys, this is Arctic, and you're watching Rehash. Thank you so much to Arctic Hardware who provided our intro. If you'd like to be a bam like him, link in the description to where you can provide an intro in your own creative way. And um, yeah, and then we'll talk about your episode. We'll talk about your channel type episode thing at the end of any of our course. Yeah. All right, so we got a couple of newsy type whatevers that we want to discuss with you, the Freedom Family. Um, and I'm going to be a nice guy. I'm going to let you go first. Are you serious? Maybe, maybe not. But there's only one way to find out. We'll try it now. So I want to talk to the Freedom Family mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. a game. Not a game. Okay. Today we're going to talk to the Freedom Family about a man who was <clears throat> incapacitated, we'll say, for now. By an atomic wedgie! Hey! That sounds horrible. Yeah. You know what I'm talking to the family about? A guy doing a speed run with a Mountain Dew box on his head. Ooh, nice. And last but not least, I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family about Street Fighter V! Which is a game coming out, and one of the developers took to Twitter saying that the game will have in-game currency. And then speaking of awesome stuff, I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family and you uh, about a spacewalk. Some really amazing stuff. Like a Michael stuff. Jackson? Oh no wait, that's the moonwalk. Yeah, but it's close. Alright. Cool. So first things first, I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family about Street Fighter V. Now I grew up on Street Fighter. Not this game, but a pre previous games in the franchise. Um, it was awesome. It was like, um, it was like Mortal Kombat, yeah. but it was... It, different. Um, of course, it didn't have the graphics that Mortal Kombat did, but it was equally as awesome. Yeah, equally as fun. Yeah. Um, so, I am very glad that they've decided with Street Fighter V to, to go this route with the in-game currency um, rather than just like a pay-to-win model. Right. I don't like games that do that. It seems a lot of games are taking the route today. And I, also, I, I love what they did, by the way. Um, so did you play this game? When you were I've actually never played Street Fighter, ever. What? Yeah. I grew up on Street <laughs> Fighter and Sonic and, and Mortal Kombat and Mario. What kind of childhood did you have? Um, I don't know. What, 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 kryptonite? <laughs> this, the, sure. And then you wanted to talk about? I wanted to talk about a speedrunner doing a speedrun. Because he's obviously doing a speed run with a Mountain Dew box in his head. Mountain Dew box? Yeah, I mean, it was no, really cool. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. You're throwing a lot of uh, at me. Yeah. Didn't we just have a game in the dashboard called Speedrunners? Oh, I see what you did there. Hey! Hey, if you guys are able to review sponsorships, if we do have keys in the near future, you guys can have the ability to download a game called Speedrunners. Right. Let us know in the comment section down below if you reviewed this game um, and what you thought of it. Yeah. Also, if you did a review from the review sponsorships, link in the in the comments where we can check it out. Yeah. Of course, we have the links because we, we run it, but the rest of the Freedom Family doesn't. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, and then, um, so t tell us tell us more about this. What oh, game is he playing? Okay, okay so Travis Miller provided a speedrun on Legend of Zelda. Now, okay. he was doing a speedrun on a glitch. The glitch is commonly known. Essentially, what it allows him to do is glitch through the wall and go to the Triforce. I'm assuming that's what he called it. I'm yeah, that's the end game. Okay, yeah. that's the end game. Now, I've never played Legend of Zelda. Do not bombard me in the comments. I've watched it a lot. But for the most part, what really amazed him at me is that he did the speedrun with a box over his head. Of all things that he could have done, it was a Mountain Dew box. So you mentioned that you watch these kind of things. Where do you watch this? All right, well, cheesy as this sounds, I actually watch a lot of these live streams on Hitbox. And as cheesy as this plug seems, okay. you can partner your Hitbox channels with Freedom. Link in the description below. Yeah, and you guys can earn a stream of revenue on uh, live streams you do. All right. And then, uh, so he did this and he did it in how much time? It was 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Cool. Cool. All right. So I have another piece of news for you, the Freedom Family. Now, if I tell you that someone killed someone else with an atomic wedgie. Okay? Yeah, I'm following. How old would you assume that these people that I'm talking about are? That's seven years old, eight maybe, at most. What if I told you this was a full-grown man giving an atomic wedgie to his father? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, that's horrible. Okay, I... okay. What if I told you that this didn't even occur in a place that you would assume that this would occur. Uh, where did it occur? Normally, especially if I say that this happened in the USA, where would you assume something like this would happen? I'm sorry if you live in Florida, but Florida. Florida, 
Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, that's a good place. Texas, um, Mississippi, Alabama. These are places I would assume. No, this happened in Oklahoma. And this Oklahoma man got into a, uh, an argument with his father. And he then, um, he then decided to end this altercation by giving his father an atomic wedgie. Now, for those of you who don't know, an atomic wedgie is when someone pulls your underwear so far up that he can wrap it above <laughs> your head. Now, at this point, normally, now, I, I've, I was a kid once, believe it or not. I was yeah. a kid once. I was also kind of a nerdy kid, believe it or not. I know. So I have done this. I have actually walked down the street after receiving one of these, yeah. literally retrieving the fabric of my underwear from my small intestines. But this is the first time I have ever heard of someone dying from an atomic witch. That was where you could die from it. But you can. The man, it says the police report, was, it was it, he died due to blunt force trauma and asphyxiation from his underwear being over his head. Yeah, meaning he suffocated. He, yes, he's, he's, he suffocated. From his own underwear. That's horrible. That, that is horrible. And why are you laughing? You're a horrible human being! <laughs> I'm such a horrible person. Yeah, so I went to talk to the Freedom Family about a GoPro spacewalk. Now, I've always been interested in space. It's just something that I absolutely adore. I love it. So I wanted to talk to you guys about a spacewalk. Now, it's nothing out of the ordinary. They were actually preparing a space dock for further space docky type now, things. Now, was it a long dock? It was just a was dock. Was it a wide dock? It was just a dock of docks. Where like, they... should I have dock envy? Yeah, you should have dock envy. Okay. Lots of it. Okay. I have it too. Okay. So for the most part, they were, they were doing things like, you know, putting antennas. I think they said they had like 300 foot of cables they were putting down. They were doing stuff that I could never do, let alone do it in space. Anyway, it was an hour long video. You guys could check it out. It was just amazing footage of, so, of what it looks like down at Earth. So, I mean, I, I gotta ask, like... Yeah. Have you ever seen a dock? I just, sometimes. Like, is it is it a lengthy process? Does it take time? Yeah, especially when you're like floating through space. And it's difficult? Hey, uh, heck yeah. So this is a long, hard dock. Yeah. It's, it's a long, hard dock. And now for the part of the show that everyone loves to hate to love to hate. The comments! Hey! Yeah! Let's go. First comment comes from Desectra, who says, I would suggest making the comments feature more professional. You figure out how. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> I would love to, I would love to figure out how. You make it sound a lot easier than what it is. Um, the, the comment feature portion um, is... Um, is actually an idea that I personally got from um, Epic Rap Battles of History. Yeah. And they literally just show the comments. I think you do a good job at it, though. It's very um, time-consuming, too. I wish people only knew. <laughs> I really wish people only knew. But, um, now, that being said, um, maybe at some point in the future, there'll be, like, a little wood grain bar or something. <laughs> I don't know. But... Right now, this is what we've got, and it's something that I'm personally not happy with, and I would like to do something else. I just don't know what yet. So if you have any ideas, let us know in the comment section down below. And you got a comment! Yeah, comment number two comes from Warrior Gaming YT. He says, I have a question for those sponsorship reviews work. Uh, and are they only PC games? As of now, yes, they're only PC games. How does review sponsorships work? It's quite simple. You go to sponsorship reviews on www.freedom.tm slash login. You log in and click sponsorship reviews. Find a game. Don't claim every single game. Just find a game that you want to play that you'd be interested in. You simply claim a key, activate it via Steam, play it for 7 to 15 days, play it to its fullest extent, and then make a review and submit it through our dashboard. Yeah. Simple as that. And then through the Freedom Family producing reviews, if, if all of you guys make reviews, put a lot of time and effort into them, we can get even bigger and more relevant titles that everybody wants to play. Mm -hmm. All right. So, and then I have a comment here from, let's just choose randomly. Um, okay, here's one. From K4G, who says, oops, I messed up the pillow. Oops, I messed up the pillows. That, that's it. Now we get to discuss our very favorite part of this show when we discuss 
that one thing. The partner. That thing, yeah, yeah, but what he said. Today's partner, Arctic Hardware. Now, I, I have some praise. Yeah. And then I have some tough love. Yeah. Praise. Nice voice. I love your voice. Uh, sometimes I feel that you could be a little bit more engaging with a joke, with a, uh, with a little bit more attention paid to your diction, which is what you call you know, your, your speech, your, the way you pronounce things. I feel that um, you're not uploading. Or wait, well, more, more good stuff. Your thumbnails, banner, love it. It's very minimalistic. Yeah. Um, now for the tough love. You don't upload nearly as often as I think that you should. Now, I can hear you now going, but I can only do this when I buy stuff. To which I say, poppycock! Do, st do people still say that? I don't know. I didn't know it was a word. Now yeah. it is a word. Okay. So, to that I say, you know, B dot S dot. Because, um, about this time last year, I did an experiment. When I was doing uh, reviews for Impulse. The experiment was basically spending like three weeks doing nothing but um, getting um, review stuff for um, for emails. Basically, I spent three weeks coming up with a list of emails, list of companies, list of contacts, and then sent them each a professional letter, uh, much like I explain in this video right above Zach's head. <clears throat> and. I didn't mention freedom. I didn't mention anything other than, you know, what it was I was going to do with these. An unboxing, a review, um, so on and so forth. And I got an insanely large amount of stuff. G even gave some of it away to the Freedom family. I suggest you do the same. YouTube, whether you're doing hardware, software, YouTube videos, you know, silly sketches, it's all about connections. And as a hardware channel, I suggest that you spend a little bit of time trying to forge those connections. Um, you're gonna hear no a lot, especially when you're small. When I was doing this, the channel that I was linking them was my personal vlogging slash whatever channel. And only sitting at about, I think, two or 300 subscribers at the time. Not much at all. But I know you can do it. Link, uh, just link anything and everything you can that you think will um, better your chances. And don't be scared to just hit it. Hit it hard. Yeah, the only suggestions that I can really give Art to Cardware is the fact that he, he lacks enthusiasm. I'm not saying be fake and say, hey, everybody, I'm Arctic. No one's going to do that. That was a horrible impression of Arctic, by the way. But for those who are, you know, I, I'm just saying try to move your viewers in a way that you haven't done before. The thing about it is you're an entertainer. I'm not saying that you're not entertaining because by all means you are. But there are so many things that you could do to improve the quality just by simply throwing in a cheesy joke here and there. Your viewers come to you because they want to be entertained. They want to know, hey, is this gaming case good? But, you know, you also want to pull them in so they also stick around and watch some of the other content. I, you know, you know well, I agree and I disagree. Okay. Um, as far as that goes, um, as far as like a cheesy joke or whatever, it yeah. really depends on your style. Um, given the content that I've already watched on this channel, I don't really feel that that's your style. Um, but I do feel that there are some elements that you could devise that would, um, you know, actually help you with audience retention, help you with building a community. Um, as far as the specifics of that, uh, to be honest with you, it really depends on you and your audience. Um, think your other channels, because I know you've got more than one. Um, and I know this is a kind of a side project of yours, but uh, make it a little bit easier for me to discover one channel, from one channel to another. Uh, that's, that's about it, right? Yep. All right, link in the description to his channel. I want you to go Freedom Family, those of you who are still watching, which is about 30% of you, I want you to go over to his channel and I want you to hashtag rehash, just spam him, let him know that he's gotten the Freedom Family hug, and uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, well, I guess that pretty much wraps things up, right? Uh, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, if, if that's the case, then till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other.
Bye, friend and family. See you guys later.